A portion of this video was sponsored by Adobe Premiere Pro. Thumbnails on YouTube are so freaking important. Here's a time lapse of me making this video's thumbnail. Hours of my life I'll never get back. Which is why yesterday, I asked you to once again let me fix your boring thumbnails. I made this for uni, and it really needs an enticing thumbnail to match its title. Warning, rather spooky. Real live ghosts caught on camera, not clickbait. Yeah, this thumbnail's cute, but it doesn't match the clickbaity all caps title, does it? We need the kind of thumbnail that makes someone go, whoa, is that a real ghost? Let me show you. I took this still from your video and clone stamped the hell out of it until the ghost disappeared. Some of that. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Clone stamping is the only sport I'm good at. And then I brought the ghost back, but lowered the opacity, so now it looks see-through. Now it's red circle time. Get an arrow in there, some googly eyes, unnecessary emoji, and wow, we caught that ghost in 4K! Just have no time. We're gonna select everything but the fucking gather Dolito the bird. You're gonna to put a fucking dirt in bird. Uh. Look at this nightmare. Number one trending, five million views. Sure, the world's a little worse with this in existence, but think of the views. <laughs> this tech miracle of a video needs a thumbnail, please, and it's titled Vegetable Cutter DIY Machine. Yeah, obviously I'm not clicking on this. It's bland, it's a still from the video. I barely know what I'm looking at. So let's get your ass trending. I started with a slightly different still from your video and isolated your face, but you're not showing enough emotion. So let's open up that mouth and embiggen the eyes because you can't believe what you're seeing. Now let's bring out that gizmo and really make that blade look like it's a spinning and a whirring. Now some text that says it works to entice potential viewers. I know I click on that. Then some off-brand Fruit Ninja assets to further illustrate what your machine does. Some finishing touches on your face. What does it look like if I do that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some Wallace and Gromit shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. We did it. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Yes, dude, I want to see your machine mess up a vegetable. And it's all thanks to this tacky, loud thumbnail. This is a short film I made about my school's old killer mascot, Epi the Eagle. Yeah, this, this thumbnail tells me nothing. I don't know what Epi is. I'm not scared. I feel nothing, just like every other day. A good thumbnail needs to grab your attention. So let's go to work. Here's a still from your short, and this is genuinely a great, beautifully framed shot. So we'll select just the killer and the weapon from the image, make him look a bit more murdery, some shadows and junk. But I think it could use some text, so let's make up a totally real quote, like a billboard for a movie, then add some blood spatter to the mix, and I love it. It looks like a cliche horror B movie from the 80s. It also spoils the big reveal in your video, but I don't care. I am currently the world record holder for Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge on the Sega Dreamcast, but I'm not that good at making thumbnails. Can you help? Yeah, here's your problem. You slapped ugly text on top of a picture with already ugly text. I don't want to read the thumbnails. I want to feel the thumbnails. I want to feel like Frogger. So here's a still from your video. We'll take out the frog and put him on the open road. Give him a shadow. Then, uh oh, here comes a semi, the sworn enemy of the Frogger. Nothing a little zoom blur can't fix. See, isn't this exciting? Sure, it's misleading and false advertising, but I need to click on the video to see if the Frogger dies or not. And whoops, now you got tricked into watching a two hour speed run. This portion of my video is sponsored by Adobe Premiere Pro. Choosing a thumbnail is only one small part of creating good content that stands out. Color that pops, audio that doesn't distract. Reframing your content for every platform are all important for taking your videos to the next level. And you can learn how to do all of these things right inside Premiere Pro. I've been using Premiere Pro for a decade. It's what I'm using to edit this right now. And I use its very handy captions tool to quickly and easily generate captions for videos I post on social media. In fact, I have a few tutorials on how to do exactly that on Adobe's YouTube channel. But did you know that there are tutorials right inside Premiere Pro? I'm talking interactive, easy to follow guides on things like color correction, transcribing sequences, adjusting audio, and adding transitions. Heck, they even have a tutorial on how to create videos for social media. Hmm, that seems hella relevant. Am I, am I allowed to say the word hella? See, that's what's awesome about Premiere Pro. It's not just the best editing application, it gives you access to and help from the world's largest creative community. Try Premiere Pro today and get started with tutorials by creators for creators right inside the app. 
with super easy to follow guides with assets for key features that help creators make better content. Thanks again to Adobe Premiere Pro for sponsoring this portion of the video. And now, back to the thumbnails. The thumbnail of a short film some of my friends made is just a freeze frame from the video. Could use some of your Photoshop expertise, please. I don't even have a video link for this one. I'm going in blind. I'm only using this thumbnail to make a better thumbnail. If I can pull this off, I'm a god. This thumbnail is so raw, it's still got the timestamp on it. So we gotta get rid of that, easy peasy. Next up, let's isolate the foreground from the background. Makes the image clearer that way, look at that. Now here's a terrible idea. I wanna try to recolorize everything since this shot has a big old blue tint all over it. And I struggled a lot here, but at least I know now that I can't do it very well. But then I thought, let's make the knife in the hand more visible and obvious since you can barely see it here. So I put a shiny new knife in your hand, and then I gave you a very catchy title that I think your video should now be called. We're gonna call it Gun Knife. <laughs> What, you're telling me you wouldn't immediately click on this if it got recommended to you? You wouldn't watch a video called Gun Knife? Fuck out of here. I tried to standardize my thumbnails once and this is during that time. I mean, it's not a terrible thumbnail, honestly. It's simple and to the point. It's not too busy, it's direct, but I do find it a bit redundant to have the title of your video also in the thumbnail verbatim. Thumbnails should be complementary to the title, often answering a question the title asks or even serving as a punchline. So let's do that here. We're gonna take two stills of your face from your video, one flattering and one less so. And for the less flattering one, we're gonna content aware scale it to make you look like a goblin. And if you put them side by side, it looks like a before and after kind of thing, right? That's how we're selling this thumbnail. You wanna get a girlfriend? Here's how you become more attractive to girls, etc. So let's clone stamp some more zits on your face. And then we're gonna do one of those level one, level 99 memes. That's how mafia works, you know? Then we'll drive the point home with some emojis and boom. I hate this thumbnail and everything it stands for, but I know I click on it and so would you. Uh, I wanna get a girlfriend. Tell me how to level up. Hey, if you liked this video, please subscribe and check out my community tab where I ask you guys all sorts of questions and give you prompts, etc. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Click here to watch the previous Yai episode. Ah, uh, here's a clip. What do you assume about me? No offense. <laughs> Good start. You seem like the kind of person to have a peanut. I, I do. I do seem like that. <laughs> you pee sitting down. I only do this at urinals. I assume that you have constant coffee breath, stinky smelly. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up!